Early Friday morning, folks on Cruz and Terrace were getting ready for work, kids for school. It's a skunk with a can on its head. It's been wandering around my backyard. Call comes out. It's my call. Officer John McGovern was in roll call. I'm driving out here. I drive up the street. It's a foggy morning. I'm thinking that I'm going to have to put the animal down. You see this little black and white scraggly thing. In 29 years, he's seen a lot of animal calls. This one, he says, was a new one. Resident Chrissy Chacon called police when she spotted the animal. Its head stuck and just walking in circles. And she comes up with this wild idea of grabbing a blanket. Right there in the roll call room? Yeah, she suggested it. I, she just tells you on your way out. She tells us all. She tells us all. I think we're going to get one of those wool blankets that we have that we can give to people in an emergency. And I'm going to throw the blanket over the skunk. And I was rather skeptical. Officer Layla Cruz has been on the job for four years. And her thought, avoid getting sprayed by this skunk. I pulled up not even like two minutes after you. Mm -hmm. And unlike McGovern, Cruz didn't show up exactly empty handed. I actually went and grabbed the blanket. <laughs> I just calmly approached it. It seemed pretty tired and worn out at that point, which was pretty lucky for us. It didn't put up a fight. We covered it with a blanket. And that skunk? I was so, shocked when the, when the blanket yeah. went on the skunk. It just stopped moving. That's not all that shocked McGovern. I covered it, pointed out where the head was. He came over with the grippers and removed the can pretty easily. Yeah. His young partner's trick worked despite his skepticism. Oh my gosh, I love you guys. <laughs> that was I told you so. <laughs> but what happened when the skunk was freed? It just took off. And then it turned and it almost looked at us and took off. What an ungrateful it, little <laughs> skunk. <laughs> Yay, he's free. Oh my gosh. I would say he was pretty grateful for not spraying us. Yes. He didn't spray us. He didn't even come near us. And uh, it, it was nice. I'm so glad. <laughs> Now, as the officers were getting ready to leave and we were finished talking to them, some of the neighbors came out and say they're glad that things were handled so humanely. However, they say if they had one complaint, it's that that skunk is still hanging out in this neighborhood. In Upper Moreland, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.